I just subscribed to Carmen and Corey. The reason why I haven't been subscribed to them is because I don't understand when Corey talks. He's hard to understand. <laughs> this boy mumbles, okay? He mumbles. So I, I can't keep up with the video. How am I supposed to know what they're doing? Because, you know, he speaks a different language. But I'm subscribed now and I'm gonna react to one of their videos. Carmen and Corey uploaded a video called Allowing another man in my house to see if my wife will cheat never again. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're gonna get right into it. Y'all ready? Alright. It's just so hot in here. It's just like having a green, bro. I'm about to prank Carmen. It's about to go down. I'm bringing a guy to the house. About to go down. It's about to be a crazy video. So if you already watching this video, man, do not click off. Matter of fact, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, man, and don't forget to leave a comment down below after the video is uh, over with. Tell me what you guys think, but today I'm about to pray my wife. Y'all already know, man. Carmen about to get it. So I'm about to bring a guy in, and he gonna act like he's coming here to fix our air conditioning or whatever. We're gonna see this. Carmen gonna flirt with him. Now like he's the twin brother, you know what I'm saying? He got dreads and all that, you know. You got okay, all okay. Like, like, and all that good shit or whatever. I don't care about all that. I'm gonna see what my girl gonna do. So, you so he's gonna be looking the opposite from you. Let's hope that he is her type because that'll be more interesting. I think Carmen go flirt with this guy back. You know, in the comments below. But anyway, guys, so check this out. So I got my boy David coming over today, okay? And he's about to uh, let me prank Carmen. He's gonna go in, do his thing. I told him, but just do your thing. Just flirt with her, get her uncomfortable as you can. Cause if we go prank Carmen to see how she react. But before we get too far in the video, like I said, subscribe to our channel. Get the, uh, click the notification bell. I did that. If you guys want to shout out at the end on our Instagram, make sure you guys tag us on uh, Instagram or whatever, you know, like post this video and tag on your story and all that good stuff. You can get a shout out. We, we do repost a lot of our supporters, so don't forget to do that. I'm going to leave and make sure I'm gone. So therefore, he hear Karma know that I'm gone. She want to know that I'm outside or whatever. So, <laughs> oh my I'm God. Just real quick. That's crazy. Right, uh, so my guy here right now, and Karma know he here. Did Corey take English lessons? Because I can actually understand him now. This boy is speaking clearly. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and leave real quick, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and let him do his thing. And I'm gonna act like he's doing the air with him. And y'all, you know what I'm saying? So that's him? Let him know, man. Handsome man. Okay, you got, you got a good looking man. Okay, this might be a little tricky. Let's see what happens. What's good is they. It's Day Houston, man. One half of the Houston Twins, you feel me? Day so sway on Instagram. But no, that's a lot. <laughs> sway way down on Instagram, Miss New, y'all. Sway okay. way down on Instagram. Finna go ahead, you know, fix the air condition, see if we can break Carmen a little bit, you know? Okay, so he's known. I guess he's a twin, and he just shouted out his Instagram and all that stuff. So he's known. Do y'all know who he is? Comment below, let me know. I hope this is not a fake prank. I really hope this is a real prank, because I want to know what she does. Break it down and see what's up, man. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir. We get mad at the video, and the video can get started right now, man. Let's go. Let's go. that a man is coming to fix the AC. You're just gonna let this guy tell you that, that that's what he's there for and then just let him walk in and then call your husband and ask about it? Are you crazy? This guy could have raped you. Come on, where's your common sense? Oh, uh, okay. So, which way is your Which way is your thumbs Uh, I'm getting this one right. Right, okay, cool, cool. I like the home on y'all see the match. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
take that as he's hitting on me I would think that like oh my god this man is a predator <laughs> and I better run for my life soon This looks like a real prank. The way she's behaving, this looks real. So it's gonna be fun. she's gonna give in to it. I think she's gonna be annoyed and pissed off and probably yell at him for hitting on her or probably even or probably even call Corey and let him know what the hell this man is doing to her or trying to do. She seems loyal. That's right. My shirt back, that's kind yep. of off from work. Like, this is my only shirt for the week. I mean, we can send the family. Send the family. I mean. Boy, you better put that shirt back on. Okay, so what's the news? Okay, so. I, I'm just going to keep my shirt off. It's too hot. No. No, nah, you know? put it back on. But, um, okay, so. Good thing is, I can fix it. Bad thing is, <laughs> the, it's too big. So, we're going to have to pull, pull out your whole air conditioning unit. Okay. We're going to have to pull it out. And um, you know, I'm gonna have to call my assistant to come help me get out. So, um, nah. I, I can call maybe it'll be in like 20, 15 minutes. Do you mind if I uh, just want to check it out? I had to make sure with Kyle, I'm looking just to. I mean, you know, it's either that or just, you know, stay hot, you know. I mean, we don't want to stay hot, so. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, this is crazy. Okay. Thank you for this the, man for took off his shirt. Somebody else told you look like Jennifer Lopez? This guy said she looks like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Why? Because she's Hispanic? No, that girl don't look like Jennifer. Anyways, back to him. Back to him taking off his shirt. Girl, I'm glad you said something right away, but uh-uh, I would have kept going at it. I'm like, no, you're gonna put your shirt back on. I'm a woman in the house, and I'm not comfortable with you being in here with your shirt off. If you can't work with your shirt on, then you have to go bring someone else. Fuck that. Girl, don't be nice. Don't be nice. Let it be known. Uh, yeah, I know it's very much. Babe, uh, he said that he got bad one, he can fix it too. It's too big, and he needs to call backup or his assistant or something to yeah. help him fix it, and it will be about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to get it fixed here. So tell him to go ahead and do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, he said, yeah, you can fix it. Okay, that's smart, man. Good choice, good choice. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. Maybe I'm too loyal. Maybe I'm, I'm too much. But I would have texted his ass. I'm talking about her texting her husband. She should have texted him. 
Let him know like, hey, this man's got his shirt off. Like, what should I do? Because I bet you, I'm telling you this much right now. No man is going to allow another man in their home with their shirt off and you not there with your wife. Tell me, tell me what husband would, would allow that. It is my, it is my, my love. <coughs> you know, but, um, for you, uh, I might be you know, so. Ain't my problem. Ain't my problem. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm working for y'all. You know? And we pay you. Okay, so, well, my guy will be here. So, um, yeah, I got him out there, man. But it's a thing here right now. I would order some food. I'll go get some food, but I don't have the money right now. You think you could just order something <laughs> and then on the back end? No. You know, I'll get you. No. Yeah. I mean, I could, but at the same time, I can. Can make make sense, you know? Well, I mean, you know, it's cool. Got the bad chips or something, you know? I mean, I need, I need some water. I need some chips or chips. Sure. Let's see what's on TV. Boy! That doesn't matter. Jump off you, like. I don't have the Rona. My cough is from my asthma, which was triggered from my allergies. This happens every year during this time, so don't get worried, everybody. Now, this man is sitting on her couch about to turn on the TV. He's getting too comfortable. I said, anything, anything you give me, I like. So this is how you get your work? <laughs> you get a little too comfortable right now for me. No, no, no. See, you know, I look at my clients like my family. So no. You make me a little uncomfortable. What you mean? You took your shirt off. Take your hat off. This I guy. This guy. <laughs> no, I'm not even talking. Oh, oh, so this guy. Um, here, come on, sit down. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm trying to make sure. You, can you just like wait on your partner outside and then just yeah, just come in? It's so humid outside, though. Huh? I mean, it's hot as in here. It's the same thing. So. You know, I you know, I'm trying to a nice little spot and everything, you know. So watch a little bit of TV. Watch, let's watch a movie or something until they get here. No, I don't think my husband will allow a man to come in the house and just take his shirt off. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he wants you to just go upstairs and just wait on your mm -hmm. partner or whatever. But like I said, we, I'm working. You know? I was just waiting on my partner. But I'm saying, this is how you usually go up to your people's houses? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's getting nervous now, because I would be nervous too. I would feel like he's about to rape me right now. I'm glad she's backing up, because he's a big guy. You know what I'm saying? Here's my father's love. I think that you love me too. You know? um, no, no, I'm saying like, if you're just, if you're not uh -uh. the one that I'm saying, but I just feel like you're getting a little too comfortable here. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I feel like my husband was here and you would not be doing that. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I mean, exactly. And that's a true statement. A lot of these guys wouldn't be doing this in front of these girls' husbands. Period. Now imagine being in a lesbian relationship. Guys don't give two fucks because there's no other man that's gonna size them up. So they think it's okay. Crazy. I feel like take a bad shit off the wall right now. No, no, no. You see yourself so this. Is, no, I don't. Know. This guy. Security here, and I don't want to go in for strangers unless they have something to do. Girl, you let him in. To make sure. I called my husband to make sure. You called your husband after you let him in, though. That was the problem. Well, he can't speak something. Your husband know I'm in. You know. But he don't know how you live. Like you took your shirt. I'm pretty sure if he was in a hundred degree attic. I mean, that's, this is his house. He can take the shirt off. But you didn't even have. Get your man that. Uh -huh. Get your man that. Uh -huh. Get your man that. Uh -huh. 
around you, you know? Damn. Damn. They do a lot of stuff here. Sometimes you need to hire someone. Baby, man. Come. Come. My name is Carmen. Come, come. So, I mean, just sometimes it's not enough. There you go, man. Social distance, like. Oh, since you're six feet. I just said, we're talking about it. You was too far away. No, it was fine. It was right out. We still said you're probably communicating. You drive real hard for it. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not trying to do anything to you. I'm just here to work, man. I just say, I'm not accusing you of anything. My only thing is, I really just got too comfortable real quick. And I feel like if my husband would have been here, he would have done that. You see what I'm saying? Nah, I would have done it. I would have said that. You know what I'm saying? So you would have took your shot. Yeah, okay. Here. That's how cool he play football and things like that. Like, you know? Yeah, okay. I was going to show you something all the time, you know? But it's disrespectful. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you took your shot? I'm so, I'm so sorry. You know, it's but, very disrespectful. Just for you. Just for you. I'm so sorry. It's not should be for me. You should do it all the time. It's just all the time. I don't know if it's a heat stroke. I'm assuming. Well, I don't, think, I don't, think, it's, it's, I don't it. think it's that high. Let me check. It's not that high either. And I offered to turn it it's down it. for you, so. Oh, she's getting pissed. My house is 75. It's not, but see, the way it feels outside, the humidity coming in and everything, that feels more like night, you know? Well, <laughs> since the way you put your back See, 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 now I'm going to get nervous. I don't have any nerves. So, how, um, how long is it going to take for him to be here? Let me count. Please. Please. No. Let me count. Let me count. If you have, you can go to the car and tell your air. Yeah, no? This is so unprofessional. You, so, you just don't just kick me out and I'm trying to do a service. I'm not kicking out. I'm just saying, because you're making me uncomfortable in my house. I should not feel uncomfortable. My father had to. You told me to make a car, put my shirt back on. I'm trying to do one. Okay, I'm just. Let me call. Okay. Thank you. Can I get a little bit of water? Yeah, I don't work out. You don't work out? I have a son. Oh, so you have a son? Oh, God bless you, Mom. Thank you. God bless you. He took his time with you. Okay, you can't say you were coming with you. He said God took his time with you. Okay, so he didn't pass it. The phone. Um, so can let you me just text. go outside? Let me text him. Go oh, outside. You, okay, so here's what I... Oh, you can go upstairs and try to figure something out. Stay with me. Just social distance from stay with me. You know, it's Friday. It's the start of the weekend. You know, um, Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. All right. So, Friday. Let's, let's take a shot. Cheers to the live edition or something like that. Good Friday. You know? Did you say take a shot? Mm hmm. I'll take a shot. He said, let's take a shot. Like, <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that is the work with the girl. Then you should write your own shot. Huh? See, I, I'm, this is one thing I gotta say. I'm glad she's holding her own. She's letting this man know what it is and what the hell he's doing wrong that he shouldn't be doing. I like that. But, girl, at this moment, it's time to call your husband. Call your husband in front of this man and explain the situation. Because your man needs to know. You know, I get this after that time. You smoke or something like that? No, I don't smoke. You don't smoke, baby? Well, I don't want to come outside. No. I mean, my heart don't want to go outside with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, my heart. So I'm just playing with the music or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I was, I was actually in peace before you came. This is how I chill in my own little song. So. You know what? I blame your husband for not even letting you know that I was coming. You know. I mean, I mean, probably he mentioned it to me and I forgot and I just called just to confirm mm -hmm. that someone no, was coming. I blame, I blame just in this case. When I talked to your husband, he didn't mention that you was this fine. He just didn't do it. Okay, you I don't think he's supposed to mention it. No, I'm just being honest. He had a fine wife and two. You gotta let me make you uncomfortable right now. I kind of not, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Because I don't want to be rude, but at the same time, I feel like you're making me uncomfortable. I mean, I mean, so I feel like you're just like, I mean, baby, just like, 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 Exactly. Exactly. No, 
No, girl, at this point, kick his ass out. Kick his ass out. You're gonna wait for your little buddy outside. And you know what I've been wondering too? Before I subscribed, they would pop up in my homepage. A lot of their pranks have to do with cheating. Why? Because I know the history of these two. Corey cheats on this woman all the time. Why do pranks about it? It's like reliving those feelings, you know what I'm saying? Why do they do these kind of pranks? Now this girl, I don't think she's ever cheated. Not that I know of. And she's very, she's a respectable woman. And Corey's got to be careful because he might lose her if he keeps fucking up. Let's see what's on YouTube, huh? Okay, you want to sit down, huh? Here. Thank you. Uh, so what are we doing? Um, so what are you doing? I'm just, I'm going to check it again. Please. Okay, I'm going to check it again. Can I put my hair back from there? I don't care what you doing. Put my hair back. This man took down his dress. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Coming right behind her. to get violated now because he's asking for money I'm gonna feel like I'm about to get robbed hey there you go there you go I like how she ran to the door when her husband knocked at the door let me rewind that okay she's like uh -uh, my man's here my man's here <laughs> let me go get that door real quick look at her she's like yep she sure did she sure did Corey, you know what you should do, and I don't know what you're about to do right now? Your wife told you the story. Now this service worker that you don't know is telling you his story. You're supposed to believe your wife, right? But to make the prank even spicier, believe his story. Believe his stories and then see what her reaction would be. I think that'd be funny. It's $500. I 
on their girls to test them like for, on some real shit they're gonna use the excuse of it being a prank for a video <laughs> never know that was funny When a woman gets mad or upset or, or feeling uncomfortable, they get to cleaning. I promise you, that's what they do. They just start cleaning because their mind is racing. Down below, what y'all think? Do is karma a real life ride or die? Or y'all think she'll fold on the pressure? Which one y'all think? Girl, you need girl, Corey. You didn't even need to do this prank or a test. I can tell you that this girl is loyal. She stood by your side even after all the bullshit you put her through. And not even privately, publicly. I'm on pressure. I was finding this way out of the house. Mm. I'm not on pressure, honey. Okay, I'm okay. Not. I care everything tight. Okay, you know? I like the side of that. Alright. No, when you was trying your best, it's not one time, no? Yep. Not one time. Not one time. And he can tell you. If he don't say it, then he's lying. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Stay tuned for the next piece. Alright, tell me what you thought about this video. You know what? I think I'm gonna start watching their videos. I actually enjoyed it. I think they were funny. Comment below and let me know other YouTubers that you guys watch and that you would want me to react to, because I'm down. All right, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.